the day starting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Steve? Hey, what are you working on? I'm working on I'm working on feeding my face so I can take uh -huh. these calipers off because I know you're not going to be doing it. What what, we got some, what in there is going to help us with the calipers? We got some Freddy's fries and the burger in there, some fry sauce. It's good yeah, man. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur and Project 996 here with myself, Pat, and Steve. In today's video, we're gonna be taking off the brakes. We're gonna be stripping the calipers, we're gonna be looking at the brake pads, the rotors, we're also gonna be taking off the hoses because we've got new uh, steel hoses to replace them with. So let's go check it out. So I've never done brakes before, so I'm just gonna loosen stuff until stuff falls off. That's my whole plan. <laughs> but really what we're taking is we took, we got this little clip out, which goes right here. This clip goes through this pin, which holds the pads in. So we'll take this clip out, we're gonna take this brake wear sensor out, and then we're gonna pull this pin, pull the pads out, and uh, then we can disconnect the, the brake line, take the caliper off, and we should be able to take it apart from there. This is one episode where I might know more than Steve, because I've done breaks on 996s and 997s before, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. But yeah, basically everything Steve said is, is right, so. Steve's just gonna do the job. Of Steve one guessed, break. basically. Steve took a guess, and, and I've done it several times, and he <laughs> got it right, so. I've done my breaks on my box The same breaks. <laughs> Steve. Thanks, Chef. So we've taken out the pin that sits across the caliper, which is kept in place by um, retaining pin or a clip. We've taken out the brake pads. Now we've got to remove the two bolts on the caliper here. Um, and then the, the, we've got to push back the caliper piston so that we can get the caliper off. Uh, and then we're going to remove the, the hose line and that should be it. The caliper should come away. Hmm. And then we can, you know, start looking at it and talking about how we're going to paint it. What are you waiting for, Pat? God, it's humid. Steve. I'm telling you, I, I don't know. I would have had this done. It's been like 16 minutes. <laughs> faster, faster, faster. One. Did you charge your battery last night? It's not moving as quickly as I think it should move. Oh. 
Okay, Pat, here we go. There is the caliper. Now, quick note to anybody doing this job, the caliper will drop. So if you are just changing your brake pads, you're gonna to wanna to use something to hang the caliper. We've actually unhooked the brake line and it's now dripping everywhere, um, but we've got the caliper off now in its entirety. All right, so what we have here is we have the, the full brake caliper assembly. What I've taken out here is the little uh, anti-dampener or noise canceling kind of anti-vibration pads. These typically will be replaced we have our brake caliper or pads. One sits in there, one sits in there like that. We have our pin that goes through there. And that kind of holds and retains it. We have our brake sensors here that go on either side. And you can see here, we have this one here starting to get to that wear point. So once it wears through the wire, that's when you'll get that warning light on your dash that you need the new, new pads. You got the retaining spring here that kind of keeps tension on the pads inside the brake caliper itself. And then here's our old brake line. We'll be replacing basically this point from here to here with a new brake line and retaining this back. Uh, but our next process will be uh, dismantling this, pulling out all the gaskets and other pieces there so we can get it powder coated. So what exactly is going to come off Pat? So we're going to be taking off the rubber nipples on the ends, we're going to be taking out the pistons on the inside, and all the gaskets inside there. And does any of that need to be replaced with new parts, or can we reuse them? No, at this point we would replace all of it, so we would get a total rebuild kit for this whole entire caliper. And we'll do that for all the other three on the car itself. And so what are we looking at for a rebuild kit price? A couple of hundred bucks? Less? More? Yeah, probably. I think uh, the best bet is like... FCP Euro and they've got uh, they've got rebuild kits and I think they're actually like 56 bucks an axle or something close to that Okay, but that that gives you all the that gives you all the that you keep the pistons We're just replacing all the seals. Okay, so it'll yeah. it'll be a new set of seals for the for the caliper but we, we won't have to take we won't have to take these lines off or anything like that Basically anything that's rubber on here. We have to take off. Yeah for powder coating. For powder we'll, take coating. Cap, we'll take the caps off and but yeah. uh, other than that we should be good to go. Yeah, awesome. Good job, guys. How long did that take, Steve? 16 minutes. 16 <laughs> minutes, Pat. <laughs> so what have you done for us, Steve, there? All right, so what we've done is we've removed these four seals. These sit on the outside. They sit around this, this outside edge. And then this is the piston. You'll see that these are four piston brakes, two on each side. So um, they pry out. You can use air to move them out, or you can pry them real gently. We're being careful not to damage them. Um, so these two still need to come out. These are the cylinders or the pistons once they're out. Cool. Yeah. This one's almost out. Working wonders, Steve. Wonders! Number three. Hey guys, so thanks for checking in on another video. This was just one brake caliper coming off. We've got the other three to take off. The next job here on the brake track is we're gonna be taking them into a shop to get powder coated. Uh, fingers crossed we get that done the next week or two. Then we're gonna get the tranny back. That's gonna go in. Then we're gonna drive the car down to get it painted. I'm getting excited. Steve? Yes, this is getting to be fun. Check in for more videos, more content coming soon. Follow us on Instagram. Go to autoamateur.com uh, forward slash shop to buy your Project 996 goodies. And, you know, have a great weekend. See ya. Bye.